right, welcome back guys. Yeah, we're out here in Montauk today I'm with James from Yakin with Bigfoot and Dan from Fishing Accomplished. We're gonna try and get some food and sea bass. Can't wait, very excited. One downside is though, I forgot my front chest mount. So the camera angles are gonna be a little wonky today. I'm gonna try my best. All right, stay tuned, let's get right into it. So you guys are fishing already, right? This is time? Yeah, let's go. See if we can put together a pull. I'm like right on top of something here. Oh, yeah. Bite? yeah. Had a bite. There we go. All right. Feels like a decent sea bass. Sea bass? Yeah. Got those deep head shakes. Oh yeah. Oh. Get back down, get back down. He'll come back. Uh, He'll brought... come back, I swear. Don't he... hit it on the way back down this time. Wow, you're right. He came back, didn't he? Yeah, oh. <laughs> Oh, he dropped it again. He dropped it again. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> they are relentless. That's crazy. These things are so aggressive. So aggressive, dude. Wow, it's a nice one, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really good one. There he is. About 19 and a half. 19 and a half keeper. We'll bleed him. I had brought him up like probably 10 feet below the surface and he still went back down and got it. He grabbed it while it was still dropping back. Yeah. Down, right? yeah. Look at that. A really nice hump. This is what we caught. It's a nice one. <clears throat> All right. Let's try to get another. Similar, I think slightly smaller. I think he's not a keeper. Not quite? I don't think so. No, only 14 and a half. Yeah, there was a lot of those yesterday. Yeah. I, got, I did probably like a dozen of those.
Possibly a keeper, it's gonna be close. Sea bass? Yeah. Yes. It's a keeper. Nice. Yeah, that's a keeper. Like 17 and a half. <laughs> hey, we fish. Oh, cool. Dude, there's so much fish on the yeah. screen right now. Look at, look at all those fish. It's crazy. You think those could be big sea bass too that come out high? I've seen them right in the middle, man. I've seen them follow it right up to the boat sometimes. They're really stirred up. Not all the time, but. We should just use like metal or something. Yeah. Or, Cause then you're not gonna lose as many gulps too. Yeah. But then you kind of lose your fluke ability. Yeah. Trying to save the engine a bit for uh, once the tide really starts ripping since I didn't get to fully charge it. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a good nice size. Yeah, that's a heavier, heavier sea bass, I think. Or maybe a sea robin. I'm gonna strip him. Sea robin. Strip bait. I'm reading 72. But I bet you the bottom is probably like 65. Alright, so I'm switching to lighter setup. So a lot of tail biters, but we're just going to keep using gulp. You know, I want to get my third sea bass before I start experimenting with stuff. So I'm pretty sure this is going to catch a sea bass. Just have to focus. The problem is I'm just not focusing very good. It's kind of hard fishing on an angle like this. I'm missing a lot of bites. You guys can see the screen now. Look at that screen. Yeah. Oh, was a sea bass. It wasn't a very big one. Probably borderline keeper, not to keeper. This is just insane, the amount of fish on the screen right now. Did you mark it too? Yeah, I'm marking it too. Or maybe it's not bait, maybe it's fish. It could be squid. I mean, dude, last time I was out here, the sea bass were like puking sea bass. Wow. I'm mean, not uh, squid. Fish. That last fish was very nice. Oh, oh well. The tide's kind of slacked out. I lightened my presentation. Not a lot, but a little bit. Simplified it. I'm just trying to entice them a little more. But it's not as the bite is definitely not as aggressive as it was when the tide was moving. Try some underwater. 
All right, so check out this underwater footage. This is one of my favorite clips. Uh, I put a squid head on a hook. So you see this uh, tentacles dangling there pretty good. Check out this sea bass though. It's a pretty big sea bass and he's checking this thing out really closely. Yep, there you go. He finally took it. Yeah, he stole the bait. I didn't end up catching him, but it's really cool to see uh, just how closely they might actually inspect your bait. And then now that he's had a taste though, look how he comes back and he's super aggressive just hitting that weight. I just find that pretty interesting. It seems that, you know, they could be cautious at first, but once they've had a taste and once they're fired up, uh, they get very aggressive. So here in the next clip, you're going to see actually a fluke break cover right there and chase this squid. It's pretty cool. I mean, this is what fluke do. They definitely follow your bait for quite a while. Uh, this fluke, he's actually going to, you know, have a taste of it, kind of go away, and then come back. I didn't fish with bait on this trip, but after looking at some of this underwater footage, um, I think I'm going to give bait a try. You know, at least it's worth having uh, just in case. Uh, check these next guys out. Uh, these are actually northern kingfish, and there's quite a few of them. Yeah, I really didn't think uh, I would be seeing these guys on the underwater. Alright, so these next clips are with the outgoing tide, and if you can tell a difference, there is a bit of a difference in the water clarity, you know, with that porgy, and then here's the sea bass that took the bait. You definitely can tell, this is like really the same amount of depth, similar area, and the water clarity is down quite a bit, just because of the outgoing tide. Look closely at the right part of the screen, you'll see a striper go by real quick. And here you're just seeing some more sea bass, a little bit higher up in the water column. Uh, it is pretty amazing how high they will be willing to come up and uh, hit baits. And in this last clip, I want you to look in the background. If you see how I had my jig, see right there, the bucktail and the gulp? That's what that looks like above the surface of the water. All these nice bright green colors. And then under the water, look, it's just a matte color. I, I don't even know how to describe it. I don't know, it just really has me curious now what different colors look like at depth. It looks like the colors are very muted. Alright, I'm gonna keep going because I see a I see like a ridge on my Navionics coming up. Back down, back down, let's go. There we go. The bad hook down. Oh, come on. That was a sea bass. Like a whole school in there. Yeah, I think mine was too. Nice, Dan. Yeah, he's just a baby. <laughs> that is awesome. Good, this is good. Like, as long as you've got your lure down there, yeah. just bass after bass. This is like averaging 12 to 15 pounds with the occasional. Oh, oh that's go. a good one. Look at the about. bend in that rod. Occasional 15 to 20 and even 30 pounder in there. Yeah. Nice. You got that pretty much right on the top of that hump, right? Yeah, there's a, you guys want to come closer, like there's a boulder and they're just stacked on top of it right here. There we go. I think that's a fluke. Fluke? Yeah, I think so. Deal. Pretty heavy. It's but it, nice. It's also really deep, so. I could be fooled. It's always a good sign when they're not fighting much. Yeah, it's definitely I a flu. See that you have your net fully extended for one too. <laughs> I did it in the parking lot. That 
thing's coming up like a keeper, man. I will say, I, it's deep water and it's a light rod. Yeah, it's a keeper. Always a good sign when he's breaking out the net. Oh! Nice. How's it looking? My guess is like 20 inches. Hell yeah. Nice. I got a full dinner for the family. Yes, so thank you. Whew. Oh, it feels good. No messing around for you today to finish, finish that meal. <laughs> no keeping C Rob and say hi there. We were talking about that. Oh, I got slammed on the way up. Yeah, basically 20 inches. Back down, back down, back down. Too. Man, dropping a lot of fish. Yeah, I wasn't jigging it very hard on that one. It was just kind of like lazily keeping it there. Alright guys, resetting the drift. Current's moving the other way now. Let's see what happens. Had a squid. <laughs> yeah, I had a squid. <laughs> That's funny. Seventy-five feet. Yeah, just small sea bass, I guess. I mean, it just came off again. But I'm, they're not, I'm not getting like the big bite. I'm just getting tail biters. Got a good, good one. I can't tell. Giant sea bass. Giant sea bass. Oh. Wow. Very big. Monster. Right, he's got a monster sea bass. Still, look at that. Look at that nice. Thing. Get it. Let's see. Let's see a measure. Yeah. I'm gonna drift away, but 
Yeah, he's 20. 20? 20. 20. Nice. Yeah, maybe like 19 and a half, 20. Well, that's a limited sea bass for you. Yep. Very nice. Still fun to catch even if you can't limit out on it or get any more. Yeah, exactly. So, now you're on the fluke wagon. Now, yeah, now I gotta figure out what is a better fluke presentation. I mean, there's fluke mixed in with these fish. Yeah, probably just the same. We're waiting for the tide, really. That's, that's all it's gonna come down to. You get the tide, you get the fish. Look at that thing. Beauty. <laughs> just started the drift. He hit it on the fall. Were you marking a lot of fish or were you just kind of out of nowhere? No, I was just kind of out of nowhere. I'm hoping I can find it on West Coast Kayak or whatever. You probably can. They have like every part. As long as you know the exact model number, they have it. It just, will it be in stock? Well, when I was some nice head shapes. That looks yeah. like blue head shapes. No, it's a sea bass. Nice sea bass. Just so you guys realize what's happening out here, we are releasing. <laughs> We're back at the spot where it was a slack current, and now it's going to be a faster current. So let's see what's going on 80 feet of water sea robin strip two ounce bucktail picked up a nice uh, 19 inch fish fluke. oh you got a 19 inch fluke yeah i just got a small i see bass with lost of fluke but we might wake our way towards you we're gonna start doing some long drifts Alright, so I was trying to do a salt to review. That's the Nixie Lime Ginger, and it is very good, very refreshing. That was probably the first seltzer I actually went out and bought because of Dan's recommendation on his channel, so there you go. Probably another 16 inch sea bass, thereabouts. They're definitely on that like left part of the ledge. I think I lost my knife. Let's try again. There's definitely fluke down there. Oh yeah. This is a it's a very challenging drift. It's a very challenging little spot to work. Yeah. Because you're moving so fast. localized piece of uh, structure. Yeah. I mean, we're moving at like 1.5 miles an hour. Oh, man. Immediately. So I want to replay this real quick. Watch how low my rod is to the water with that pickup. And then now with this next pickup, and that's me knowing that that's the bottom right there. But right here, boom, the bottom didn't happen. So I know there's a fish that came up off the bottom and grabbed it. Oh yeah, yeah that's a good fish. I don't know what that is. Feel good? Yeah, it feels heavy. It's like the big blue. Nice. Wow, 
wow they those big fluke just they hit it different like i lift it up and then it's like as if my you know they hit on the fall like the lure just stops like mid mid jig and it just stopped it didn't go back down to the bottom and when i pulled you just feel so much weight and you're like whoa <laughs> Uh, that, that's why we do it, man. That's why we drive all the way out here. Coming home with like at least $70 oh, yeah. or $80 worth of food right now. Ah, oh, he's almost 22, 21 and a half. It's a nice fluke. What are you thinking? Give it three to four more minutes. Okay. That last fish was late in the draft, guys. Yeah. If there are more fish, I'll be that one now. Oh! There we go. Speaking of the devil. Big? That's crazy. It might be a weak fish, too. Could be. My guess is like 16 inch sea bass. 15 inch sea bass? 16 inch. Yeah, pretty much. That's what it is. Luke, I don't necessarily care if I don't get that third one. Yeah, I agree. All right, resetting for another drift, which keep hammering it. Yeah. the back of a net maneuver. I think it's better to focus on just uh, barely. I think it's I think it might not be a keeper but I'm gonna net in. Well 18 and a half is not that big so guys, uh, especially after getting that 22 inch you guys. Yeah it's gonna be close. Whoa. Oh he's 19. 19? Uh, oh, it's 18 and a half. What do you think? Is it like a, a competent 18 and a half or is that a... Close his mouth. 18 and a half. He's almost 19. about an 18 and a half incher. We'll let him go though. Shrink in the cooler. I did try fishing some reps in the Western Sound. Probably the same ones you fish, honestly. <laughs> Probably very similar. I can think of one other thing this might be, and it is. Now it's a blue deadline. What are you doing? I don't think it might be a deep fish. Uh, sometimes they feel like halfway between those two. Yeah, they do.
does that feel? Oh. What, what just happened there? It feels like nothing anymore. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Blue sea bass. Sea bass, I think. Yeah, you tell yourself that. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh. That's a big sea bass. The very big sea bass. Yeah, I'm getting sea bass vibes, but it could be a blue. Really bad letting this thing go. Get a good picture though, at the very least. Pounder right there. Yeah, that's a beast. 21, 22. Dude, we didn't get a shot of this guy. That is a shame. We gotta throw this guy back. <laughs> that is one too. It's another like 18, 20 incher. Yeah, 19 incher maybe. I'm gonna get this one right back. Nice fish. You better watch out, September, buddy. We finally lost that fish to golf. All right, guys, that's it. Absolutely awesome day out here in Montauk. I thoroughly enjoyed my time out here. Now, a big shout out to Dan for Fishing Accomplished and Jim from Yakking with Bigfoot. Now, I'll link their channels in the description, but I'm sure you guys probably already know them. Uh, yeah, I just really appreciate that they took me out here. Had a great time. Fish a lot of like really chunky bottom, you know. It's really, really cool to fish some deep water for big sea bass and keeper fluke. It's great. Sorry for the little uh, mishap with the camera. Yeah, it would have been nice to have that first person point of view, but you know, I guess we're just gonna have to do that another day. But yeah, look at I mean, we got an absolute cooler full of fish. I, uh, yeah, I think that the total tally was uh, you know a limit plus a little extra of sea bass and two keeper fluke one that was borderline keeper but yeah so really good day all right thanks again for watching guys and uh, yeah we'll see you on the next one